Hi and welcome back. Today I'm creating another intuitive spread in my watercolor journal. It's a watercolor book from Kunst und Papier. It's a German manufacturer and I almost only use it for these abstract watercolor paintings. I try to make um, some creative space for myself every day and I need sometimes stuff that is a quick thing and that I can also maybe split into more sessions and that is something I really enjoy doing. It's super intuitive. I just play with the paints. I enjoy watercolors very much because I love their properties and I often have a color scheme in mind um, or a pick it from my color palette sketchbook but today I wanted to go with autumn themed colors and I just go with the flow and pick the colors while I'm painting. I'm doing this all in real time so if you uh, like to you can paint along with me. I usually split these kind of spreads into two or three um, time periods I would say. Um, usually I start in the morning with the base layer and then I let that dry and I come back during the day and play even more on the page and sometimes I do finishing touches in the evening. I decided to pull out the core watercolors. I only have six of them so far because they are pretty expensive but I really like their high flow because it gives um, me some really nice effects and I like when the watercolors are doing their own things on the paper and when I get surprising results. I always try to keep the contrast in such a painting high because a high contrast um, is always interesting and especially when you're painting abstract and you don't have something realistic for the viewer to see then it often helps to have a high contrast to make the finished piece more interesting and more maybe I would say also emotional and it gives just more feelings. I switched to a liner brush. I really like this one. It's a bigger one that I am usually using and I recently got this with a set from Zen Art Supplies. They wanted me to test out their black tulip brush set and this is my favorite brush in this set because it's really nice to paint fine lines and the reason that the bristles are so long is that you don't have to go back into the paint that often it holds much more water as if it would have been a short a shorter um, brush I always try to bring back the elements in different positions so I want to have that brown um, also in another area. I hit my camera there, I'm sorry. I'm making some more marks with the brush just very intuitively. I have no plan where this is going to end and it's really just plain and relaxing.
creating layers with these marks that I am doing here gives you another layer in the painting and that adds a lot of dimension and makes the piece also more interesting. And that's it for now. I will now leave this to dry and then come back for another layer. Everything is dry now and I decided I'm going to stamp something and I picked that leafy stamp from the pencil marks stamp set and some ink that matches the paints that I have used for the background and I'm just stamping it um, in the areas where I think I need something and yeah, that's also just very intuitive. You could also use a pencil and make the marks on your own. I often do this with water-soluble pencils. I dip the nib into water and then create some marks or botanical elements. I also use another pattern from... I'm not sure if it's the same set because I never know which stamps are on which set. I have already three pencil mark stamp sets and here I first clean the stamp because I often forget this and then I'm mixing that black ink I have used before into a colored ink and I get um, a not so nice muddy color and for this pattern I'm picking a yellowish ink and I also stamp it into the yellow areas Watercolor always dries lighter than it looks when it's wet and I decided I want to increase the contrast again by adding a second layer to the brown area. I wanted to add another color but I'm not sure which one I want to use and here I just try some different options on the left side. And I ended up by mixing two colors. I believe it was olive green with a blue, but I can't really remember. But I really like this grayish bluish color. And so I went with this. And again, this is very intuitive without any plan. It's just painting and that 
is something that's super relaxing and I just can recommend this if you have a busy day and you need something to calm down painting is a very good solution I'm now pulling out my Neocolor crayons. These are the water soluble ones because I like them more. They are more creamy and um, that's the reason why I most of the time pick those. Um, I don't mind if some areas are still wet because they also work on a wet surface. And you can see I just make some scribbly lines and some easy marks. And I decided I want to add in some shimmery touches with metallic watercolors and I have wetted all the colors with a spray bottle then it's easier to get them um, work and then I just go in and add some dots these colors are really opaque if you um, make them thick so if you don't use that much water and you mix them very good then you get a really nice opaque paint Maybe you are wondering what to do if you uh, make a decision and paint something that in the end you don't really like. If you're working with acrylic paints it's pretty easy, you can just go over it. But with watercolors it's almost not possible because they are transparent and you will always see what was happening underneath. And also if you add too many layers and too much paint um, you will overwork it and then it will just be a mess especially when you're working on a not so good quality paper which is us usually the case in a sketchbook and here I didn't like that centered circle element very much um, but I will fix this problem by just um, getting rid of some of the color that's a good thing about watercolors you can just re-wet it and then work it out a little bit um, yeah you will see what's happening And here I'm just going in with water back again and blend this half of the circle into the painting. I wasn't sure if I wanted to add a focal point so I picked some out and just placed it on the page and I see if I like them and I liked a few of them and I just want to um, share this with you because I'm really interested to know what you would have added to the page if it's the flower in the beginning or the butterfly or this um, sketchy leaf I finally end up by adding all these trees I stamp them to jelly prints and then cut them out and as I wanted to create an autumn themed spread, I decided to 
pick those and I really liked how this spread turned out with the trees. My page is not 100% dry, so I will wait until it's dry before I glue the trees down. And what I want to add is a sentiment also to um, balance out or unbalance that blue circle. And I'm just writing a word with the same paint. The finished sentiment says enjoy the change and this is what I do when autumn comes. I really enjoy nature and how it's turning into all these bright and warm colors. And here you see the finished spread. I have adhered my trees and I really like it and I hope you do so too and then we will see us next time and have a wonderful weekend bye